Hey pen pals, today's video is coming to you from the Fellas Studios, which is very exciting. Um, we're gonna do, be doing something, again, very exciting today. We're gonna be making some props for the brand new Fellas season two set, which I don't keep saying it, but I'm very, very excited <laughs> about. If you haven't already checked out the new, the new season, go over to their channel and definitely do that because it's really, really cool. The new set is like kind of circus themed and Sam who designed it um, <laughs> actually thought it would be super cool to have some like tin can, almost like a tin can game part um, as one of the props. So that's what we're doing today. This isn't a spaghetti hoops mukbang. I don't know, but would you like to see that? Let me know. I would like to do that. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's the end of the intro. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, that's it. Let's get straight down to it. <laughs> the first thing that I had to do was remove all the labels from the cans. This actually ended up being a lot more difficult than I expected, just because there was some really strong glue that was keeping some of the paper on at the back where the seam was. I ended up actually soaking these cans in warm water and then after they were soaked for a while I used a scourer to take off at least all of the paper that was stuck to the glue. There was a little bit of glue remaining but I found that this wasn't really a problem because I just kept those at the back of the cans um, to where the viewer would be. And also once we'd done the base coat you couldn't really tell that the glue was there anyway. So the second step was to paint on a white base layer. I just did this so that all the colours that I put on top were going to be as vivid and as bright as possible and you wouldn't really get that if without doing a base layer first. I started off by using a brush as you can see here but I actually found out, or Sam actually found out, that using a paper towel actually used less paint and you got much more even coverage without those brush marks. If you had a sponge this would be even better but we didn't actually have a sponge there so we just used paper towels and as you can see it worked out pretty well. So after that I decided what patterns I was going to do and what kind of designs I was going to do on the cans. So we did 10 cans in total, I wanted to have 5 that were patterned and 5 that just had kind of circus related pictures on them. So I started off with the patterns. I use the set as inspiration and if you've seen the set you'll know that there are lots of different patterns that appear in the set so there were lots of different ones to choose from, I wanted to make sure that they fit in with the set as much as possible. You can see here that I started off with this sort of burst design. I wanted to make sure that each of the five uh, patterned cans had a different pattern and a different colour combination uh, and what I did was I just started off by sketching the pattern on the can with pencil very lightly and then just painted it on. At first I used washi tape to try and get some really clean lines but actually I found that this didn't really make a huge amount of difference. It was quite difficult with the ridges on the cans to get incredibly straight lines even with the washi tape so I found that actually the time it took me to put the washi tape on it didn't really help that much in terms of the neatness of the overall can so I ended up just kind of not using that in the end and instead just you know using the pencil guidelines that I made. I ended up doing five different patterns as I said I did that sunburst pattern that I showed you this is me doing the, uh, the vertical stripes, I also did some horizontal stripes, I did more of a kind of spiral burst effect and finally I did this diamond checkered pattern which was by far the most difficult can to do, even out of all of the cans including the picture cans, the diamond checkered pattern was so difficult just because the pattern was so complicated. Um, but I think this one came out really really nicely in the end so I'm glad that I took the extra time to do it. Most of the colours, I should just say as well, especially the lighter colours, took at least two coats to get them to properly show up. Um, but this is how they looked in the end and I think they ended up really, really nice. Okay, so once they'd all been done, it was time to move on to the picture cans, which was the one, which were the ones that I was most nervous about. I started all these off the same. I basically drew just like a rough outline. It's almost like a stage shape. I don't really know what you'd call this, but again, I took inspiration from the set. And I painted this kind of section with this dark red colour which I made just with loads of red and a tiny tiny bit of blue and these are kind of the colour the color of, the, um, of some of the drapes that you see in the set as well. So 
So then I also painted this kind of square shape with um, a sort of beige color. And then I went around the outside of this shape and did gold dots just to mimic, mimic the lights that they have on the set as well. And I think this ended up looking really, really nice. Once this is all done, I sketched on the image in question, with, again with a pencil, just making sure to do this really, really lightly. And then I just painted as I did with the rest of the cans. The image ones were a little bit trickier because they were more detailed and also, again, the vertical lines on the cans made this quite tricky. But my best advice to this, if you wanted to do this yourself, was just to go as slowly as possible, especially for the base coat, um, and just making sure that you're kind of taking your time with it. So my favourite one of these was definitely the candy floss, I thought it came out so cute, but as well as this I did a popcorn one, balloons, a kind of circus ball and also a circus tent and I was really really happy with how they all came out in the end and I made sure also to kind of add in a little bit of a gold highlight to each of these images just to make them stand out a little bit more and fit in with the rest of the set. So finally, the final step before sealing them was the scariest step, to be honest. I basically decided to get one of these um, sort of steel wool scourers and sort of scrape away some of the paint from the tins. And this was just to make them look a little bit more authentic and a little bit more warm. Um, I don't know how much you can see of this like actually in the podcast, but I think it actually made them look so much more realistic. It was really, really scary to do them to the picture cans, especially my favorite ones. Um, but I think that the end result was really, really cool and so worth it. I also used the scouring pads to remove any excess paint that was kind of on the edges of the cans, or the top of the cans, anywhere I didn't want paint at all. So once this was done, I basically just sealed the cans with a acrylic sealing spray. And guys, if you're gonna do this at home, please make sure you do it in a well-ventilated area because this stuff stinks. It's absolutely disgusting. So after they dried, they were ready to go on set. And what do you guys think? I am so, so proud of this. It's one of my favorite projects I've ever done. Let me know which one your favorite is down in the comments and make sure you go and check out The Fellas Season 2, Episode 1 to see them in action. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video.